Welcome back to my channel. I'm Makeup by Kate and I wanted to do a just a tutorial of my just go-to look right now. I mean I have tons of products, I have tons of different things that I like to play around with um, and I get way too much makeup but hey that is my job and that is what I do so I get makeup and I love to try new things on you. But right now I'm going to do a tutorial and walk you through exactly what my not everyday look but like my go-to if I'm going out or if I'm going to I don't know like a wedding or if I'm going to do makeup for a wedding. So I'm gonna go through the products and exactly what I do and I'm gonna stop looking at this I'm gonna look at you. Okay so my face is already moisturized um, and I use Garnier Brightening Lotion. It's like my favorite lotion. It has a little bit of SPF in it, which is good for everyday use. SPF is great even in fall and winter. So I already placed it on my skin, so it's already absorbed. Now I'm going to use the Hydrating Eye Cream by Bob Bobbi Brown. It just feels so good. It's not too thick, and I think it is very nice to wear underneath your foundation and concealer so it doesn't look cakey and stuff like that. Then I'm going to go in with my primer. So the first primer I'm using is the Cover Up Kelp Blurring Primer by Cover FX. And this is just going to smooth out any pores that you may have and just smooth the canvas, blur everything just like the primer says. So I'm using this in the center of my face where I have texture and where I want my pores to be filled in. The foundation I'm using today is Fenty Beauty and it is more of a, a matte foundation. I wanna be super hydrated underneath. So I'm gonna go in with my Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer. And this stuff is super hydrating this honestly makes your skin feel so good it doesn't really have any scent and i was kind of expecting it to have a coconut scent but it does not which honestly might be a better thing if your skin is sensitive to scented um products and it is pricey but like i couldn't say no to it anymore <laughs> like i've been seeing such good reviews about it that i had to get my hands on it um and the packaging it's just so pretty. I can't, I just I couldn't get over it. So I just, I gave it. I'm using Mario Badass Scoot. I don't know how you say it, but Mario's Facial Spray um, Rose Water. And I'm just gonna spray that on the face. And it not only does it smell amazing. This is like my favorite part. It just feels so good. It's like a facial in a bottle. But it smells amazing, but it does lots of good things to the face it's a rejuvenating facial spray um you can use it to set makeup soothe your skin if it's dehydrated throughout the day there's little bottles that you can get and you can just spritz and it just gives your skin a quick boost whenever you need it um this stuff is good it's very good so once that dries we're gonna go in with our foundation for my foundation, I'm going to kind of make a little bit of a concoction. I'm mixing the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Foundation Pro Filter. This is shade 290. Um, and I'm going to mix, I got this from the drugstore. It's Hard Candy Turn Me Bronze um, Mix-In Drops. I saw it, they were like 99 cents and I'm just like, why not try it? And I put it in my foundation the other day and it kind of was super pretty. It just gave a very bronzy look. This is a little bit messy. That's one thing that's not the best. I don't know if you can see it. It has a little bit of a sparkle to it. So when it's in the foundation, it kind of gives a bronziness to the skin, which is fun sometimes. I wouldn't recommend it if you're getting married or something and they're in front of the camera, but it's a very pretty effect. So I mix it up. All I'm gonna do is just kinda pop that right onto my face. Basically just buff it in. I'm using, this is the buffing brush by Real Techniques. And I'm gonna zoom in here to kinda show you up close what this looks like. And then once 
I have the first la layer really um, buffed in. Then I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and just add the excess product where I want a little more coverage. A damp beauty blender. And I just love the finish of this foundation. It's matte and it lasts a long time, but it doesn't, it's not too drying. Now, if you're really dry, I probably wouldn't recommend it unless you really, really prep your skin good. Those two little pumps just go a long way, especially, especially when you are, and I like to go over the lips, um, applying that extra drop. It just adds a little bit more consistency. I think I like, all right, so we've got the base down. Now I'm gonna go in with my concealers. So I'm gonna use two concealers today. I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape and NARS Radiant Glow. I'm using medium and shape tape and custard in the other, and I'm gonna kind of mix them a little bit. So, dot, and then dot. And I'm gonna just kind of push that in the skin into that V. So right up that way. And the same thing with the rest of my face. A couple dots on my forehead. And my chin right here. And then with this shape tape, since it is such full coverage, I'm gonna line my whole nose with it and keep that there. So it really sets to make it nice and straight because my nose is not straight whatsoever. I'm pretty sure like in soccer one time, I got slammed in the face and this whole bone, I don't know if you can see it, it's like, it's all the way out. Like this side's flat, but this bone, like I think I got hit way back when. I just, whatever. And I'm not touching the nose, like I said, just keep it there for a little bit. I use the medium um, shape tape for these highlighted areas. And then I added a little more lightness with the NARS under eyes because I want this to be a little bit lighter just to brighten that up. NARS um, Radiant Creamy Concealer and Tarte Shape Tape, my favorites by far. Just gonna keep letting that sit there and I'm gonna go in with my cream contour. I'm using the RCMA um, palette and this is in VK number 11. This is in my kit, not necessary for you. But I'm gonna use this Morphe E8 brush. I'm just gonna mix these two shades right in here. You feel your cheekbone, it's right underneath that. If you do a kissy face, that's easy too. And then I'm gonna work in sections. I'm gonna do this, blend it, and then do the other side. Pushing that up with my beauty blender. Not rubbing, but just kind of rolling it in. Also take that right on this jawline. Snatch that a bit. I mean, who doesn't want a nice and sharp jawline? And I take that even and go right under my lip. See how much it looks like it plumps it? Even like all the way around a little bit. Plump them up a little bit. I'm gonna blend this. I always feel bad putting makeup on my clients because all I'm doing is just patting the crap out of their face and I feel like I'm annoying but they say it is like relaxing so then I don't feel bad anymore just right here on the sides and then at the tip of the nose since I have a longer nose I don't want it to elongate it with that line and really blend that and then with powder we'll make it even better okay so before i go in with my powder i'm gonna make sure everything is pushed in and no creases 
powder I'm going to use is my Laura Mercier um, translucent setting powder, of course. And take my beauty blender. I'm gonna pack some of that right underneath the eye, nothing too crazy. I'm going to put that powder right there. We all have our trouble areas. Mine is my nose. Okay, and then push that up there. Gonna let that chill out. This brush is like my favorite brush ever from Sigma um, to push powder into my face. I'm gonna take that, and this is in shade Medium Plus, and I'm gonna push that everywhere I put that contour, basically. And I don't want that under eye to sit there too long. I don't want it to get too drying. So now I push and then I wipe away the excess. I'm using NARS Laguna Bronzer. I'm just going to take that on an angle brush. This is by Sigma again. Again, I don't know what it is. I'm just pushing that everywhere I put my cream contour with my RCMA. Just pushing that into those hollows. Okay, so now on to blush and highlight. I love using my Makeup Geek Bella. I'm pretty sure it's, no, this is not Bella, I'm sorry. This is called Bliss. It's this shade right here. I'm gonna go from like right in the middle of my eye up my cheekbone. So I just like to push up the cheeks. And now highlight. I am using Laura Geller Baked Highlight in Portofino. Put that right on my cheekbone. Prettiest highlight. And then on my brow bone, and a little bit above that. On the cupid's bow, of course. And then I take this and put it on my tear ducts. And the thing is, this highlight is not really gold, but it's not really silver either. It's in between, it's different, but it's so pretty. All I'm doing next is I'm going in with my clean, very soft, fluffy brush, and I'm just lightly buffing everything together. Okay, so we're gonna do my brows. I'm using all Anastasia Brow Powder products. I take that brunette shade and use that on the outer part of my brow. And then with a lighter shade, I'm just gonna take that and brush right up. And bring it in a little bit more. Wiggle and pull up. I'm gonna just make a little tiny bit of shadow in here. Always brushing through. So you can't even tell. Using just a flat concealer brush. Taking a tiny bit of this concealer. This step is not necessary, but I personally think it makes a huge difference. I think it's super pretty. Take that same shape tape and just put a little bit on my eye and blend that out with my beauty blender to prepare for my shadow. And I'll put a little bit of the translucent powder and just push that onto the eye, making sure my shadows blend nicely. My first shade is going to be Anastasia Beverly Hills Fawn. This is gonna be my transition shade. I'm putting it Right where my orbital bone is, you can't see my crease, but that's where I'm putting it. I'm gonna follow that and go back and forth. And windshield wiper motions. It's just gonna open up my eye. There I was using Morphe E27, then I'm gonna go in with my Morphe M513. And then blowing it out a little bit, like so. Now I'm taking shade Barcelona Beach by Makeup Geek is to create a very soft, smoked out, brown, neutral eye. Keeping that on the outer edge, and once I have all that product, mostly on the brush, then I'll take it slightly in that crease, not all the way in. It's not a sparkle, it has a tiny bit of a sheen to it, which is really pretty, 
but it doesn't have too much, just enough. And then I'm gonna take that same shade and put it on my brow bone. All right, now I'm going to use this Tom Ford Sparkle Block. It's not, it has some sparkle, but it's like a very subtle sparkle. And so I'm just gonna push that with my finger. And if you can see, very subtle. But when the light hits it right, so pretty. And I use this on my brides and it just has the most gorgeous effect, I love it. Now I'm going to use my favorite NYX Skinny Pencil. I love this because my eye, lid is so small so I have to be careful with my liner. I only put the liner on the outer corner and then do a very very thin as close to the lash line as possible as I get towards the inner corner. When I get out here I'm just gonna tiny make a tiny little wing straight out and just use Corrupt by Makeup Geek with this NARS liner brush and just kind of define that and pull out that wing a tiny bit. Now I'm gonna take that same, those same shadows, I'm gonna use Fawn and I'm gonna put a little bit underneath the eye. Just to tie it all together. Plenty need pencil you have. Put that way on the waterline. Now I'm gonna put a coat of lash, a coat of mascara on and then some lashes and I'll be right back. They just open your eyes so much more, it's so fun. And so I'm using Cosmania lashes for days. I don't even know what they are, but I got them from TJ Maxx. And they're very, if you can see, they're very fluffy and light, which is my kind of lash So because you can see through them to my lid. I don't like a very thick band because my lid space is so small, so I like a nice and light and fluffy, but nice and long. Okay, so for my lips today, I'm gonna just use do like a nude, what I feel comfortable in. So I'm using Kylie Cosmetics Liner in Hazel. And it's just kind of like a, a brown. And then I'm gonna go over top of that with this e.l.f. lip gloss in Natural. Just go right over top of that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you could like, subscribe, comment below, let me know what you wanna see. That would mean a lot to me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.